So you're Emily Chatsworth. Yes. What can I do for you, Mrs. Archer? Oh, then you know who I am. Of course I know who you are. Won't you come in? I'm not interrupting anything, am I? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? <laughs> what can I do for you, Mrs. Archer? You really think I don't know what's going on? What are you talking about? Oh, come now, Miss Chatsworth. Let's not play games. I've seen the, the averted eyes, and I've heard the sly whispers and the glances. I know what everyone's saying behind my back. They're all saying, poor Mrs. Archer. Her boss, R.V. Tingleberry, is giving dictation to another secretary. <laughs> oh, you're not going to try to deny it, are you? Are you? You have been taking his dictation, haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> How long has he been giving it to you? <laughs> I didn't want you to find out. No, of course you didn't. That's why you've been sneaking around after hours taking his dictation and his letters and his contracts and who knows what else. It wasn't the way you're making it sound. No, how was it? Do you have to make it sound so cheap? Well, it is cheap. It is cheap, 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 cheap. <laughs> I didn't want you to find out this way. I tried to fight it. Yes, but you lost, didn't you? It wasn't that way at all. No, how was it? I was working late one night, and he came into my office, and he wanted a memo type fast. Sure, I knew he had a secretary. I wanted to say no, but he looked so helpless. So I typed it for him. You couldn't control yourself, could you? He needed me. <laughs> I know. I know what it's like when someone needs you that badly. It's impossible to say no. Well, that night, I, I typed his memo, and I thought that would be all there was to it. A one-night type. <laughs> I almost wish it had been. After that memo, he kept coming back for more memos. I tried to stop, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. All he had to do was look at me and take out my steno pad, and I'd do anything he dictated. I know. <laughs> I tried to stop. I really tried. I know how you feel. It was like that with me once. I typed my fingers to the bone for him. And now that he no longer needs me, he shunted me aside. And for the likes of you. <laughs> Look, if you had given him everything he needed, he wouldn't have had to come to me. He always had a clean desk. His pencils were always sharpened. And what about the typing mistakes? Oh, no. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I've let my typing slip. It's just that I didn't think I'd have to keep it up to hold it. I really didn't want this to happen this way. You know what it's like? To lie awake in the wee small hours of the morning knowing that somebody else has taken your letter. <laughs> oh, come on now. Cheer up. I mean, there'll be somebody else. No way, no way. I am a one boss woman. Come on now, you're no child. Surely you've taken dictation from somebody else. Never. Never. He was the first. <laughs> I was young. I just graduated from secretarial school and I, I went to see him for an interview and he, he said to me, will you be my secretary? And I said, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and then that very first night, he, he dictated his first letter to me. He must have sensed that I was nervous because he started speaking very slowly at first and then, then when he saw that I was keeping up, he went faster and faster and then, he gave me his closing salutation, and it was over. <laughs> so you see, Miss Chatsworth, that first letter which every secretary dreads was a joy. <laughs> it was. I could never, never go to another boss, because I've had the very best. I've had R.V. Tingleberry. <laughs> How much do you want? What? How much do you want to disappear off the face of this earth and never see him again? You can't buy me with money. Then I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want it to end this way, but you are not going to get my job. I don't want your job. 
You don't? No, I don't. I want to marry Mr. Tingleberry. Marry him? Yes. My doing all that secretarial work was just a cover-up so that his wife wouldn't find out about us. I wasn't interested in his memos. We were having an affair. An affair? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled. And here I was worried that you were after my job. And now I'm safe. <laughs> you were safe. After the nerve you had coming here, I'm going to see that he fires you. 